Welcome back to Bold TV. I'm your host, Philip Michael. And our next guest is the Chief Innovation and Marketing Officer for Daily Pay, a fintech company that's changing the way workers get paid. Welcome, Jeannie Walden. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm elated to have you. Now tell me, how does Daily Pay work? What is it? Super simple. We work with employers. It's free for employers. We take their information about how many hours their employees have worked, and we make it available to the employees through an app. And if they want to access the money that they've already earned before the company scheduled payday, it's as simple as pressing a button. Wow. So how? Wow. Wow. That's a game changer. OK, I am literally left speechless almost barely. So almost. essentially what you're telling me. So let's say I am paying someone five thousand dollars a month and they're they get paid on the first of the month, but they need to access that money on the 14th. How mm -hmm. how does that money become available? Yeah. So basically, you know, you've already worked 14 days out of the month. And so you've already earned half that money close to it, right? You've already earned about $2,300. Mm -hmm. Technically, if you quit your job today or on that day, your employer would have to write you a check for the money that you've earned up to that date. Yeah. So it's no different. Like the concept is no different. The only thing that's different is companies have put in company determined pay dates and you can't access the money that you've earned until the company decided two weeks every month once a month once a week whatever it is we are changing that mm. we feel that you know people deserve to have access to the money that they've earned as soon as they earned it you know bills do not directly align themselves with your payday so it's, it's very uncommon that the date that your employer decides to pay you is the date miraculously that all of your bills are due. Now, but but who actually floats the money? How do you make sure? Because if the money isn't taken from the employer account and then credited to the employee's account, what happens in the meantime if they have to get some of that money? Do you float the money? Do you yeah, have? We, yes. So how does that work? We, we take we take care of that money. So when we did when we set out on this journey over five years ago, we decided that to make this work and to change the way that pay works and to create a pay experience we would need to look at all of the obstacles in the way for businesses. So one of them is, you know, what if you had 3,000 employees and they all wanted to take out all the money that they've earned right. halfway before payday? You don't, we don't want to impact your stock price. We don't want to impact a balance sheet. We don't even want to impact the way payroll gets done. So to make it really simple, we've taken care of that on our side from daily pay. So we have a fund that's available for every company that we work with that will make sure that there's always enough money in there so that if 100% of their employees took out 100% of what they've earned at any point in time, they can have that money. Then on payday, when company runs payroll just like normal, they pay us back for any money that's accessed early, and they pay the employers the rest of the money that they didn't access early to keep it simple. Now, on the flip side of that, we also provide complete 360-degree support for an organization. We call it our Total Excellence Program. We also provide call center and customer service support, both two different levels of it, because we know when a program rolls out, people have questions Last thing that we need is to have anybody inside a company get have more work on their hands rolling out a new program. So we help with that. We also help with the launch because we want companies to be able to communicate this as a benefit that it really is for organizations. And we've got some cool algorithms that run in the background to make sure that if your company accidentally typed in, you know, that you made $3 million in the last pay period instead of the 3000 that you normally own, we catch that instead of making $3 million available early uh, and really help companies manage some anomalies in pay. So the obvious question is, as an employer myself, how much does that cost me? So for an employer, it costs absolutely nothing. Because wait, 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 we, about, you mean to tell me that even though you're floating the money, which is uh, in effect a, a, a loan, what? It's not a loan. No, no, no. It's no. not. Very there. It is not a loan because you already earned it. You're not paying No, it's anyone. not a loan to the employee, but the employer because you're advancing money. That is, how, how does that work? Not advance. To... Technically, they earned that money. Technically, if you quit that day, you're getting paid back. So it is the opposite of a loan. No, I'm not saying it's a loan from the employee. I'm saying yeah. from a business standpoint, from a business if there's standpoint, another it's a institution that advances yeah. money, that is a loan from the employer with the fund that you mentioned. How does that cost structure work? How does the business model even work? Yeah. So, so the business model is no cost to the employer. On the employee side, if you want to take out your money, there's no cost to access our app. 
And, and that actually has tremendous benefits for the employee because uh -huh. for hourly employees, you might not realize how much money you're going to get in your paycheck. So yeah. I don't know in the last time it was that you had an hourly job, but you know, my daughter has a job at a gym and some weeks she works 20 hours, some weeks she works 40, some weeks she gets overtime. Sure. Ask her how much money is going to be in her paycheck. And she honestly can't tell you, which is the case for over 85% of working Americans with hourly jobs. When you can open the app and see, hey, this is how much money you've earned so far, it gives you the ability to make smart financial yes. decisions. Yes. So it's completely free for people to see that and to create a budget, right? So they can say, oh my God, I've only earned $800 and I really wanted to earn a thousand, save some money to plan a vacation. I'm going to pick up an extra shift or I'm not actually going to call off on Friday like I was planning to. So employees love it totally free employers see increased productivity out of it which is also awesome now if you want to take money out because you know you got in a car accident you weren't expecting Whatever it the case is. money plan for that uh, it is it is a flat two dollar and 99 cent fee to take the money out for the employee only if they take it out so what that means is you know it's if if you had to get your car out of the pound and it was going to cost $140 and you didn't have it, pay $2.99 to get your money out before payday versus running into an overdraft situation or needing to get a payday loan or some other high interest rate that you would have. Now, the other feature we have is savings. So if you earned $872 and you're trying to save for that vacation, you can also move money into a savings account before your paycheck comes out. So you can kind of save from yourself and there's no cost for that either. So the majority of features we offer don't have any cost, only if you access your money. All right. So in order for someone to take advantage of this app, does a company have to implement this or is this something on a micro level level that a user can just tie to his job so that anybody yeah. can yeah. use it? What's, what's, what's the situation there? Yeah. So, so we, we don't want to be a payday loan. And one of the things that payday loan companies do, one of their hallmarks is they will access your personal bank account. So if you needed money, I would put it into your bank account. And then on the date that we agreed, I would go back into your bank account and take it out. We don't want to be anywhere near a deduction scenario. So we only work through organizations. So the organization and has to take has to take this on and then give it as a perk to their to their workers. Exactly. So now exactly. my question is, can I do this with independent contractors? Can I do it with freelancers all over the world? Or does it have to be W-2 in, in America alone? What's the situation yeah. here? So, so right now we're only in the United States. Okay. And it has to be with somebody who goes through your payroll system. So I yeah, see. right now it's W-2. W-2. All right. So what's next for daily pay? Do you think this is going to be the way that people because i personally love the idea that you can start to take away money for savings and investing and even something yeah. that i don't think employers have have thought about really on a grand scale which is well i suppose with 401k but taking away money that they can then put into 401ks or invest in the stock market just to give them that guidance to also start creating assets versus just giving them money and letting them go on with their life oh. do you think this is going to yeah. be more of a trend is this going to be adopted uh, uh widely you think Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so first of all, like the concept of getting your pay when you need it is going to be the way we all get paid within three to five years, like not even a question. It's just uh, it's just the way that the world is working. Everything else is on demand. And, you know, companies have transformed, especially during COVID, the way that work works, you know, with remote working and differentiated hours, but they haven't transformed pay. And this is what that does. So that's without a doubt. As far as the savings piece goes, I am totally right there with you. In fact, for people that use our savings feature, we will go back to the employer and say, here's a list of everyone that's used your savings feature. Go see how many of them are actually also contributing to a 401k, especially if it's a match. If they're not contributing, we want the employer to have that conversation and say, hey, great news, you're saving $50 right now, save 25, put the other 25 in our 401k and let us give you a $25 match and your 50 becomes 75. So we think there's tremendous benefits to produce a more financially intelligent employee conversation and relationship between employees and employers. And that's also some next gen HR, allowing people to build wealth within, within their payroll. I love that. Thank Absolutely. you so much for joining us, Jeannie. Yeah, thanks so much. Have and a great day.